Good morning. Today, we're going on a camping trip, but not just any camping trip. This, this is a video about what, <laughs> I can't do this seriously. This is a very serious video about what are the only fun things to take camping. Whoa! -ho! Now don't get me wrong, there are a lot of important things that you need to have with you when you're camping in order to keep yourself from having a miserable time. A lot of stuff that keeps you alive. But this video is about the things you need to take camping with you in order to have fun camping. So these are some of the things I think are most important when it comes to having fun while you camp. So here we are, we're ready to talk about the things that make camping fun. Well, that's not true. The the things you need to bring with you if you want camping to be fun. On a scale of one to ten, how frame how how frame am I? Can you see me all right? Good. Good. Okay. So, with important thing number one for having fun, you gotta look like Indiana Jones. You gotta look like you belong here. So, hat. It's early in the morning. Like the sun just came up, so it's like there's a lot of dew in the grass. So. <laughs> Well, let's start with the most important thing for having fun while camping. Is a nice big knife. The reality is, normal life, you don't get to carry big knives around, but out here, no one cares. You can just carry a big knife around with you and you can do whatever you want with it. Within reason, please people, be nice to the world. A big knife makes a world of difference when it comes to how much fun your camping trip is. Honestly, the best way to make a big knife fun is to not bring any little knives. Because if you don't bring any little knives, then you have to use a big honking knife for everything. And that's not normal. That's weird. And in that sense, fun. Next thing, you need to bring a backpack. Even if you're not gonna be hiking to where you're gonna camp or you're not going to where you're gonna camp, you need to bring a backpack because it'll make you feel like you're traveling. Why travel when you can just feel like you travel? It's great. It's everything you ever wanted from traveling except just a backpack. Then, I usually bring a saw because a lot of times when you go camping, you need to process wood. When you're going camping, I think probably the second most important part of having fun is having some kind of ax, hatchet, or splitting maul. So you need something to split, break, smash wood, right? Uh, and if you use an ax very long, you're gonna get tired. If you've got tender hands, your hands are gonna get real tired of this particular tool very quickly. And at that point, you're gonna want, you're gonna be glad you brought a saw. Even a shitty saw is a saw, and a saw is easier than an axe. Just don't put your finger under it, please. Well, don't put your finger under anything sharp ever, ever. Just don't do that. That's, there's no reason to, no reason whatsoever. Next, up top, uh, I usually have an older New Testament. This is in case you die. If you are in the process of dying, you can read something. <laughs> that sounds awful. The, have you seen, is, I think it's Saving Private Ryan, where like, the guy, the guy is dying, and he has the guy try to read out of the Bible, <laughs> whatever. Point is, big marker! You might need to mark something, so yeah. Honestly, the, a lot of this, the little stuff in this backpack it's just stuff that I always have in here when I'm using it from day to day. So also I have a sweatband, but I don't. You don't need none of those are on the list. We've got we've got one, two, three, four, five things. These other things are not not on the list of most important for having fun. Then we're gonna get into the actual backpack now. Now, my philosophy for this video was not my favorite things. It was more like, what are the important, essential, fundamental things you need for fun? And what other people enjoy about camping is not the same as what I enjoy about camping. I'm a unique person with unique tastes, and you probably will be too, and once you start camping, you'll figure out what that taste is. But for me, camping uh, does not revolve around food. But for a lot of people, the joy of camping is that you get to make weird food in a weird place with weird tools. So, here we go. Here we go, my, my camp cook set. 
real quick. We got this, which is a plate. You know what, I can set that, set this right here. You got a plate, I got a pan. It may not look like a pan, but watch, watch this. I'll show you something, I'll show you something real cool. Now it's a pan, see, pan. Uh, I got a fork slash spoon. Let me save that actually, I need that later. Uh, I've got, this is a, this is like a pot gripper. There we go, you got, you got a pot gripper. Uh, I've got two cups for drinking tea or coffee. I don't drink tea or coffee, but like I said, this is like things you need to think about when you're trying to have fun camping. I have a mug. I have a pot and a pot. Together they're pots. And then I also have a water bottle because you have to stay hydrated. I mean, you're gonna die if you don't stay hydrated. And not to mention who has fun with a headache or who has fun when they're dehydrated. Like if you're, if you're thirsty, you, you just, you're not gonna have much fun. But anyway, then I've got another, you know, another pot. This one's full of cord because You'll probably tie something. <laughs> and then we got this one. This is where some of the real fun's at. That's not really true. This is like the least fun of the funs. So in here, I've got a pen. I've got a pen. I've got a pencil. I've got a knife sharpener. I've got a multi-tool, this is a Leatherman. Got some fire, fire starting stuff, a little tiny knife. What else, a Sharpie marker, a laser. Just a bunch of random little things. Gizmos and gadgets uh, that basically, you, you wanna have something where it's a bunch of gizmos and gadgets because you're gonna forget something and you're gonna need to use some random thing you wouldn't normally use for that thing and that it's 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 MacGyvering and it's it's fun. It's great. Also you want a poncho. Nothing sucks the fun out of life like wetness. But you want a poncho. Because the here's the reality. You don't know the weather. You don't understand the weather. Nobody does. They tell you one thing and that doesn't happen. And then they tell you another thing and that doesn't happen. And like so you get ready for you get ready to go camping and they're like it's gonna rain, like two feet of snow rain this weekend. And you're like, no, now we can't go camping. You don't go camping and it's a beautiful 75 degree day. You missed your opportunity. So no matter what the weather's like, you just gotta go anyway. And, but if you're gonna have fun, the whole point of camping is to have fun. So if you're gonna have fun while you camp, you can't just show up and be like, yeah, it's raining, now we gotta go home. You just ruined the whole day. You just ruined the whole camping. You know how much you're gonna wanna go camping next time when you think to yourself, you know, there's actually just a 50-50 chance that we might actually have fun at all. No, you gotta bring it, bring, bring a poncho, and when it rains, you can dance in the rain and be silly and stupid and wet. It's great. Well, actually, hopefully dry if you're wearing a poncho, but anyway. Now, this might actually be the biggest contributor to my fun when I go camping usually, and that is if I can get a few hours each day to just sit around and read a book, a really good book, a book you really love, whatever book you're getting through that, you, that you, you, you've really gotten bogged down in but you know you love it, that's the book. You should just bring that book, okay? Especially hardbacks, I don't know what it is, but like something about a nice thick nice thick cover when you go camping is nice because I uh, I read the Twilight series well on a weekend camping once and uh, uh, they were paperbacks and they were they weren't in good shape after that so I didn't read the whole Twilight series in one weekend that's not what I meant I meant like I, I went I read one of the books on a weekend while camping but anyway it was a paperback and it got it got pretty 
yeah, I got it got got fairly dealt. So I think that's pretty much everything. I think that's almost every oh. Whichever knife it is that you love, uh, for me it's the Mercator, but whichever knife it is for you that you love, you should bring that. Even if you don't end up using it, I mean I, I do, I end up using this one for food all the time, but it, just having, having stuff you like around you, around you, when you, when you around. Of course, yeah, no, that made sense. That totally made sense, Nick. Yeah, you're on, you're spot on, Nick. You're a real sensible guy. I don't know why there aren't more people to watch your videos, Nick, because I mean, honestly, this is awesome. Great content you got here. Oh, I forgot I even had the fanny pack on. Well, first of all, if you're gonna enjoy life, you haven't really figured out how to do it until you figured out how to do it with a fanny pack because this thing has changed my freaking life this year. Oh, by the way, the signature on top of my fanny pack, that's signed by the guy who voices One Punch Man in the English dub. But in here I basically have my keys, my information that proves I'm a human being to the government, driver's license, a notebook for notes, pens, pencils, usually headbuds, but not right now. If I had any money, I would have that in here too. Also, some measuring tape, and usually my phone, but my phone's in my pocket. The thing that's absolutely crucial, when you come out and you wanna go camping, and you haven't gone camping a lot, in order to make it fun and interesting, is have interesting food. So, whatever it is you like, but you don't normally eat during life, and then you try and figure out a way to make that. Now for me, I don't really like having a fire, so for me that would be SpaghettiOs. So, and this is like, this is like the healthy kids entree, is what it's called. It's the cheapest one they had at Super Saver, but uh, yeah, I'm a he I'm I'm just gonna. The nice thing about this, they don't try to make it hard for you. All you need is a spoon, and you can just kind of pull this open. I don't know what to do with it. Usually, I have like a trash can with me, but you know. Who needs a trash can when... Mm. Mm. That's everything you need in order to have fun. Mm. I'm almost done with it already. Nick, and this whole thing, you don't have anything to sleep in. Sleep? Whoever told you that sleeping was fun? Goodness gracious, these people. When it comes to sleeping and all the other things that I didn't show you, I'm so far from what's normal that it's not really reasonable for me to give people advice, but I'll do a video about it, maybe, if you guys want me to. Let me know in the comments if you guys want to see the stuff I normally use. I think that's pretty much everything. Everything you need to have fun while camping. Not everything you need in order to keep from being miserable while camping, but this is everything you need to have fun. All, all the fun parts are right here. You can see them all. See them all, folks. This is everything. This is all I got. This is everything there is. In the whole world. Oh, so I'm I'm like uh, kind of trying to decide which I prefer because with the with this camera with the GoPro I can do what is it 4K video like this one. This is that's what this was. All right, this is 4K video. But in order to use that setting, I have to use like the wide scopey lens, or I have to use the wide scopey whatever. So it's like fish eyed, right? But there, so there's a survey right over here somewhere or, or that direction. Click on the eye and then there'll be a little survey that'll pop up. And in that survey, it'll ask you whether you prefer 4K with the fisheye or whether you prefer the next highest quality without the fisheye. I can't decide which one I like, so let me know which one you prefer and that's what I'll stick to because I can't make up my mind. Thank you guys, I appreciate it. So check out my playlist, most recent video that I made. This is my Patreon and this is uh, something I think you'll like. So hit that bell, stay well, and I'll see you tomorrow. Or, or Wednesday, more likely Wednesday.